of yesterday's flooding still lingering throughout East Tennessee. Of one of those places waiting on floodwaters to recede, part of a utility company's operation. But the good news, there's no damage. This is a look from February last year when we showed you damage. First utility district of Knox County experienced uh, when we had that round of flooding. Two of their wastewater facilities were flooded. Since then, crews have been making repairs. It's taking some time. New here at 6, WAT6 on your side reporter Laura Holm revisiting one of those pumping facilities today. Talking with managers who say their adjustments work ready for the rain to stop. It's because it did this. It looks exactly like a lake. This is what the 10 mile wastewater facility run by First Utility District of Knox County looked like yesterday. Nervous, nervous. Uh, we started making some preparations with employees and, and mobilizing some equipment. Uh, having, having employees go out and do some routine inspections. And this is what it looks like today. Thankfully, uh, everything uh, survived in the station and operating and functioning as normal. Managers with First Utility District say last year's February flood helped them better prepare. It was uh, just like deja vu and we were thinking, oh no, not again. The good news was that repairs had just been completed. There's some electrical switch gear and some instrumentation. Some of that was mounted down lower. Uh, we raised that some to, to decrease the potential for it going underwater in the future. This right here is a bypass pump and part of the new flooding plan includes having this equipment here just in case the rain gets bad for the next time. I think we're ready and prepared. First Utility District says despite this flooding, pumps are operating normally and there aren't any regulatory impacts. Still, crews are monitoring the facility. We are looking at other means to, to safeguard these facilities against future events. Once the water is down, crews will check some of the mechanical equipment that's underwater. In my history, I've seen this area flood uh, three or four times. Uh, last year's, of course, was by far the worst. In Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. All right, some good news there. And with more rain expected next week, First Utility District telling us they're hoping the current flood waters have receded by then, of course. Yeah, exactly. You know, as an added precaution, they're also making emergency plans and creating safeguards for the equipment.